video. This is the Rope Masters Video Cast, your source for the best in rope skipping instruction. Hosted by world champion Peter Nessler. The JV Skill. For our JV skill, we're going to show you the fundamentals of double dutch, so turning and also getting into the ropes and getting out of the ropes. So Peter and I are first going to turn without anybody in the ropes at all, and we're going to uh, work on just what you should do when you are turning. So the most important thing is that you're turning circle, circles towards each other, and also a great way to start is kind of to think about a wall being down the center of your, or the midline of your body, and that you can't cross over that wall as you're turning, you want to keep your arms on that side of the wall. And also to start to make sure you're making big enough circles, some people touch their nose as they're turning. So we're going to start just doing that. Just kind of skim past your nose. Make sure that the ropes are hitting the ground when they uh, make the downward motion. That way we know for sure that Mike will be able to jump over it. So after we feel good about that, we can kind of take our arms away. Start off really slow. Make sure you have a really even rhythm because without that you can't have a jumper in the ropes. So we have a really good turn going on now. We're not crossing over our body, making nice sized circles, just kind of like you're drawing on a chalkboard. So that is what the basic turning looks like. Once you feel good about that and you have a great rhythm going, you can try to add a jumper. So without the ropes moving, to get Mike in the ropes, he's going to need to know which rope to count on. So he's going to count on the rope that's furthest away from him. So when the rope that's closest to the camera goes ready, set, go, he's going to run in under that rope. And to get in the ropes, he needs to make sure he makes it all the way into the middle. So you might want to make a mark on the floor with an X, or if you are in a gymnasium that has lines, you might want to center yourself on the line so the jumper knows where to get in. So he knows that the middle is about right here, and he's kind of figured out in his mind that that's where he needs to get to. So to get in the ropes, he's going to take a big step, and then a hop with his feet together, and then just start jumping in a single bounce. So I'll count it out for him, and he'll just get into the ropes. We'll go ready, set, go. Under that rope, he's in, and he got right into the middle. So we'll go ahead and stop the ropes that he's here, and we'll talk about exiting the rope. So just as he got in the ropes under the rope that was up, he's going to leave the ropes under the rope that is up. So that's going to be the one that's closest to you. So he's going to hop into the ropes, and I'll say ready, set, go. And when that arm is up, he runs out under my arm. And you'll notice too that when Mike got in, he didn't start way out in front here, but he started by Peter's shoulder. And when he exit, he's going to want to try to stay close to my shoulder. That way you don't have a lot of a way to run, just a big step and a hop. So we'll just start the ropes here, and Mike will show the exit. And I'll count out. Ready, set, go. And he runs under my arm, and he can go ahead and enter again from this side, and I'll count it for him. Ready, set, go. Under the rope. And I'll count for him to get out. Ready, set, go, out of the rope. That is the basic entrance and exit, and it's one of the most fundamental things you need to learn in jumping double dutch. The varsity skill. For a varsity skill, we're going to be showing you a push-up shoot through to a crab and then flipping back over to a push-up. So first I'll show you what it looks like outside of the ropes, and then we'll get a group of us together so we can show you what it looks like inside of the ropes and also tell you some pointers for turning. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to go down into a squat and then out into a push-up. And from here, you're going to pull through your legs, through your arms, which is why it's called a pull-through, to a crab position. So you're back like this. And you'll take a couple of jumps here and flip back over to a push-up. So I'll kind of show you what that looks like in full speed. And I'll say, ready, set, go, push up. One, two, up. So you can take as many jumps in that crab as you want to, but I think it looks a little better to keep it quick and flip back over so you keep the trick moving. So we'll go ahead and add Peter and Mike. And Mike will be showing you what this skill looks like inside of the double dutch ropes. And um, as turners, Peter and I need to be aware of what Mike is doing, of course, and also making sure that we're scooping that push-up, staying slow because it's a slower trick. Um, and just watching what Mike is doing in the ropes at all times. So he'll go ahead, jump into the ropes. And he'll go when he feels ready. Just call it out. Out, through, through, push up, and up. One more time. You'll notice that P 
Peter and I are really scooping and getting low to the ground. These are short ropes. Squat, shooting through, and flipping back over to a push-up. And that is the push-up pull-through in double dutch ropes. For more information, check out www.jumprm.com.